and we'll walk uh, around the campus of the house in the town. We'll see some tigers. Some of the tigers are to see some peats and squeaks. Hi. How are you? Oh my goodness. Looking good, looking sharp, handsome. Mr. Arch in a Sunbeam. Sunbeam Bread Corporation. That my grandpa was a sales representative for them back in the 50s. Hi, look at you. My grandpa on my dad's side. Not my other grandpa, the dairy farmer. Which my uh, my dad's grandpa was a I, he was one of them. He was a cheesemaker. Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, I have a great great grandpa on my dad's side who's a cheesemaker. My grandpa was a dairy farmer. My mom's side. Um, so yeah, my Wisconsin cred is uh, pretty tight. Yeah, I'll accept your cold tolerance. <laughs> Ah, uh, that may be true. I've been in Texas for a long time. But the swings here are crazy. You know that. Hi, oh, beautiful. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. It is so much. It is so much nicer today. So much nicer today. I think that the temperature probably is about 40-ish. 42 degrees or something. Oh. It's just... It's just downright pleasant. It's uh, it's just kind of long sleeve weather. Oh, hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. How y'all doing? <laughs> hello all three million bounty hunters in the solar system. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of you get that. Shucks, howdy. <laughs> uh, very obscure. We just got done feeding. It was a it was a pseudo clean feed. Pseudo clean. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to push our luck. We're not going to push our luck. It was a pseudo clean feed where we were just, we were going around and we were scooping up poop and kind of shuffling hay out and then feeding as we went along. So, yeah. Took about... Oh, close to four and a half, five-ish, four and a half hours, something like that. That's about the time frame that we were looking at. It was me and Rachel and a community service gentleman. So some of the cats are going to have proteins, bruh. Oh, ice. Yeah, they're going to have some proteins. So we may get a wide and varying palette of reactions, of facial expressions, of sounds. Ooh. Mm. Beautiful. It's nice. It's actually finally nice to be outside. I will say it was not too bad. I mean, don't. I mean, had to be out in it and doing different things. What? What's the matter? What's the matter? What are you? What are you upset about? Something's going on. Maybe there was a. Was there? A, I think that there was like a distant gunshot, possibly off in the distance. Maybe that kind of freaked her out a little bit. You okay, Layla? What matter? Huh? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> you worried? 
It's okay. You're okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. These two guys. Just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a weird sitcom. Polly and the Calf. Thursdays on Fox. <laughs> what an odd couple. I can't remember who it was, if it was Rasa. I think it was Rasa. I think Rasa was really yelling at Polly earlier. Rasa was giving him, quote, the business, unquote. Yeah, she was really giving him a, a verbal schlacking. Melita, I believe, is inside yes she is okay. hi sugar pie okay I know I know hi are you gonna be nice okay okay <laughs> did you guys hear I was, was I mistaken was there a snuffle when she first walked up I believe there was let the record show that there was a snuffle Yes. <laughs> when she first, when we, when she first walked up, she was sending mixed signals. Hey. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Where are you all? Kind of. There, there. There, there. Yeah, pat, 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 pat. Yeah. Good girl. I know, Ross is just being, she just sometimes gets like that. When she's got her, when she's got her proteins. Pat, pat, pat. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> what? Rasa, oh my gosh. Tood. Why do you have to keep so much tood in your pants? Is she bogarting all the food? Yep. That sometimes happens. Where you get one pissed off kitty. And then they... Well. We'll touch upon that in a little bit. I'm not in the right section for it yet. But I do want to touch upon that a little bit more. That idea of uh, kitty cats within shared spaces. When food is a flying. When food is being dispensed. <sighs> I have to head back to work. Heading back tomorrow. Yeah. I was off for I was off for a long time, like almost like two and a half weeks. <laughs> It was a glorious break. Glorious. Well, I guess you could, I guess not all glorious. Not all glorious. Got to spend, I mean, you know, spend time with family, being around them. That was great. It was wonderful. But there was... There's a couple of different things that were not the the best that happened. Uh, the young one, Cole, he dislocated his uh, shoulder again. Only one this time. So uh, that's good. Okay. 50% reduction in shoulder dislocations. That's a positive sign. Yeah, that, that was not fun. That was not fun.
Cold made it interesting. Whereas one of those kind of things where, um, yeah, the times that you do have to spend out in it stink, but as long as you have enough prep work going into, you know, the facility, then you should be able to kind of, because all the cats get kind of cozied up because you're, you're, you're giving them a lot of food and making sure their bedding is good. And they just, they, a lot of times they'll stay in their den boxes. You just got to make sure that they get their meds and their water and all that stuff. I talk a little bit about the cold weather water process on one of my fancy casts. Oh, shout out to my Patreon peeps. <laughs> all you fancy people. But besides that, it can, sometimes, depending on the weather, it just gives us an opportunity to kind of hunker down ourselves. Like, all right, well, there's not... We're going to intentionally make it to where, okay, we got this thing and this thing and these big things that get done, and then that's it. And then we're going to be kind of hunkering down ourselves. Everyone batting down the hatches. Animals and people. Prepare your hot cocoa. <laughs> Fixed cocoa. Charge. <laughs> hmm. There's the other one. Oh. Nadal. Is round one already over? That's where, that's, that's where round one went. Hey, bud. Hi, handsome. Care kitty. Uh -huh. <sighs> My sweet boys would not lock up. Would not lock up. Oh my gosh. They're the only ones. They were the only ones that wouldn't lock up today. They did. We got them because it's a two it's a two person job. You gotta got one person, usually me or Heidi, to go inside the basement part of there. When the two boys they go in. And then someone has to get the the pulley and then undo the clip and then it shuts the shuts the gate but if you're if you're one person trying that maneuver you go inside and then you say like come on boys boys and then they come inside even if you get them inside the minute that you try to like run outside to get the thing they're gonna be like rub, 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 and they're gonna run out because they're like where are you going <laughs> is it fun we're gonna come too. We're gonna come too. Yeah. We love we love fun. We're fun boys. And uh, I went in there. And in my defense, in my defense, actually, uh, I did get them in there. I think it was uh, Rachel who was not uh, quick enough with the pulley. <laughs> ah. They were, they were in there, maybe for about 10 seconds. So even then, even then, uh, there's, you'd have to be uh, some of the fastest hands, some of the fastest hands in the West to undo the pulley system and let it down appropriately so as to not cause injury. Yeah. Oh well. So had to take their uh, had to take their meat and then throw it over. Not from the ground. Not from the ground. But yeah, that was that was fun. Thanks, thanks guys. Thank you so much for that. 
totes a preach. Totes a preach. These boys are good as far as, you know, not being, not being uh, complete douchebags with each other when it comes to food. But, uh, oh my gosh, Boomer, just gonna, what, a, he was being a massive dickhead today. I mean, major, major. I was very disappointed in him. And that's not, this is, okay, this, this is not a tea, like, a oh, team tea, geese. <laughs> no, I was genuinely upset at him. I was very, very upset at him because we had Boomer and Slade locked up. I know. Boomer and Slade were locked up. See, that's Slade right there. Now, see, the thing about it, though, is that Slade, the only reason that Slade is like this is because Boomer is like this. But they were locked up and then had... Uh, Two cow heads, two cow heads, just to show you kind of the, okay, yeah, Slade is over there. Oh my gosh, guys, give it a rest, give it a rest. I'm nowhere near you, I'm nowhere near you. See, Boomer is really bad. I had one head probably right here, and then I put the other head probably right about there. And I sh what I should have done is put literally one head over here, and then took the other head and then put it over here. But I, I screwed up. I thought that here to here was enough of a enough of a separation point. Because you have to you have to make sure that there's 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 separation. But okay, we open up and then Boomer and Slade both go, but Boomer like sprints and then Slade is just like, you know, gingerly trotting over. But then Boomer grabs this head over here and then immediately like run, 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 and then plops it next to the other and then puts his chest on top of both of the heads and then starts just going and I am just like, and I was, I started just yelling, I'm like, Boomer, Boomer, that is not cool. That was, I was so mad at him because Slade, I mean, and Slade was, like, that's, and Slade was looking at me, because, again, like, Slade has to be, like, Slade's not naturally like that. He kind of became that way, because Boomer just is what he is. But Slade was looking at me, and he's just like, okay, but what about my food? And I'm like, Slade, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And I just told him, just wait. Boomer will get up and he'll take one of his heads. He can't carry them both in his mouth at the same time. He can't. It's just it's just an inconvenience. And I, luckily the inconvenience seemed to maybe only have lasted for about 20-ish minutes. Because they were the last ones I fed and then I came over and... And then I started webcasting. So... Don't know. That's not, that's not so bad. I was hoping that it was only going to be a little bit of time, not last for multiple hours. You used to have a cat, Tigger. He used to do stuff like that. Oh my gosh. You'd throw food down, he would just take all the food, make a little Tigger pile. And then another, the other female who lived with him, Lydia. It's just like, alright, you're just going to have to wait. I don't know how long, but you're going to have to wait. And she's like, alright. And she, like, and if it got to the point, she just, she just knew. She just knew. That was the thing. It's like, Tigger had to eat first. Tigger had to eat his fill. And then he would leave the Tigger pile. And then, uh, you know, Lydia was then able to enjoy the uh, fruits of the Tigger pile. Hi. Uh, oh, ha, Tigger. We were... Rachel and I, we were talking, um, we were talking about like, you know, Winnie the Pooh characters and like who would be, like who would be who. Um, and then uh, I guess uh, 
<laughs> like uh, Rachel would be Piglet. Um, I would be Tigger. Like Jamie would be Rabbit. Oh my gosh. Heidi would be Kanga. And daughter Des would be Root. <laughs> We couldn't figure out, like, who was going to be Owl. Couldn't figure that out. So, that one's still kind of, there's still a question mark next to that one. And then we, we, we brought former interns into the mix. Uh, in, the, the, in the last two. So it's Chris and Brianna. So don't, you don't have, your brain doesn't have to search farther back than literally the last two interns that we had. So, Brianna, Eeyore, huh? <laughs> and uh, Kristen, uh, Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Just good natured, likes to eat. Oh, and we also said that Poopy was Christopher Robin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Mr. Stinks was Christopher Robin, imagining all of us, or at least that's how, maybe that's how he sees us. And he is in his hundred Stinks wood, hundred Stanksers wood. I don't know. The hundred acre wood. How would you able to find a pair of pants that big? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chew. Oh, chicken. Your boy is being a jerk today. Yeah, yeah, but Boomer stole and hoarded over both heads and made it so Slade wasn't able to eat. Uh, let's not bring that. No, you didn't. <laughs> let's not bring that up into the whatevs it's boomer's fault it wasn't me oh my gosh girls 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 excuse me excuse me <sighs> gotta bring logic into into the equation my name is rachel Oh, uh, by the way, everyone, go ahead to uh, Big Cat Derek on Instagram to see some really uh, shocking developments. Uh, Rachel's cat, Piper, uh, decided that uh, she loves me more. I mean, did you get on the whole story how I was, like, literally dying in bed from sickness? <laughs> because, yeah, Piper's like, well, this one's... Uh, okay. Piper was jumping off a... There's other people here. I need to make sure they're okay. No, Piper was... Piper was jumping off a sinking ship is what she was doing. She was just like, all right, this one's done for. She's down for the count. Let's just, Derek didn't even want to keep Piper. He's just like, let's get her. <laughs> is that how I sound? <laughs> I, I will say, I will say, I didn't, when Rachel first like brought up the notion of like having Piper. But I didn't even ask to keep her. She yes. Was, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. I off and I took care of her and I also had to pay for her vet bill. I was like, Heidi, I know she's not my kitten. No, you said that, uh, like, uh, I want to uh, keep her. And then Heidi goes, you know that kitten's not going anywhere. And I was like, okay. No, I, like, I, I don't even remember what my initial contribution was. But basically, I said, just, like, don't get attached. Because more than likely, we're going to have to find a home for the kitten. Not that we're going to have to, like, you know, I wasn't, you, you're making it seem like I was going to basically try to, you know, football spike the kitten out in the driveway. <laughs> That's certainly not the case. I was gonna. I was thinking that we've got a lot of house meows. We've got a lot of cats here. We're probably going to have to find a new home for Piper. I wasn't expecting that she was going to be sticking around. So I didn't initially get attached to her. But I will say she is a spunky, feisty, fun little girl. I know, Raven. I know. Rachel moves so slow. Oh my god! Maybe I had some help. <laughs> Maybe I should have had some help. That's true. I should. We should figure that out. Ah, man. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> 
it's like, Rachel, I'm doing something important. I'm webcasting right now. I'm creating uh, content for viewers. <laughs> That's my contribution. Is it very important? No, I'll go help her after I'm done. I will. I w yeah, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay? I know that some of you are like, no, you won't. Yes, I will. You don't know. You don't know me. You don't know what happens when I turn these cameras off. Rub myself in olive oil. For all you know. <laughs> run around this place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good luck trying to not have that image out of, in your head. Sass! Cassie! <gasps> Hi, beautiful! <coughs> Hi, baby! <coughs> Hi, pretty! <coughs> yeah! <coughs> Hi, baby! How are you? <coughs> oh my gosh, you're so squeaky! You're so squeaky! How'd you get so squeaky today? <coughs> oh my goodness. See, it wasn't even this. You were squeaky earlier, like multiple different times today. So yeah. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. <coughs> oh my goodness. Should we just sit here for the rest of the cast? Yeah. Should we just sit here? Yeah. yeah. All right. Ah. Looks like we're just gonna be sitting here, just hanging out. I hope that you folks don't mind. Cassie is. Uh, she makes a she makes a, a number of very persuasive and compelling points. Whoa, excuse me. On that note, yeah, I know. I draw the line at high fives. All right. <sighs> Poopa Luca. It's Poopa Luca. Do a, do a rabbit joke. Do it. How, when, how many rabbits went to school? Like, I don't know, like 12? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. See, it's hard. It's hard. When, uh... Oh, uh, you should totally subscribe to this channel. Pretty good, Micah, right? Uh, it's hard to do Luca jokes when they're not, when you, you know, they're not in like six second chunks. <laughs> what? Mia. Someday we're just gonna have to. We're really gonna have to work this out. Whoa, where'd you where'd you come from, or from where did you come? Hi, hi, bud. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but uh, what's his face? Uh, Dom Hoffman. Dom Hoffelman. Hoffle waffle. He, uh, one of the original developers of Vine, uh, he's working on a, on a sequel, V2. It's basically, uh, yeah, Vine 2.0. It's one of those kind of things when he initially kind of was announcing it and like putting uh, tweets out about it. They got, oh God, it got like almost like half a million likes or something like that on the Twitter. And... They're definitely, he's like saying like, yeah, that's, we're going to keep it. We're not going to sell it 
because before it even launched, I think, I think, before Vine even launched, it had already been sold to Twitter. So, and they, uh, the, the three individuals who developed that, the app, Dom and Russ and there's another guy, they kind of lamented that fact. They're like, man, we probably shouldn't have done that. This is fine. If it was left in our hands, it would still be, like, alive. Twitter kind of killed it. But the, the Dom guy, he's working on a follow-up app. V2. And just, all, he's, there's a lot of the stuff that, it's interesting, like, some of the stuff he's talking about as far as cultivating communities, how you can shape your timeline, um, different things, like, you can, you can add a nope button, where basically you're just, like, it's like the types of, the types of things you see in the feeds and all that stuff, you can really have a lot of, uh, algorithmic personalization. And hopefully maintain some of, like, the uh, simplistic elements that made it so successful in the first place. Now, this is, and I, like, is it going to be, is it going to be even remotely successful as the first iteration? Because that first, the Vine, it was a weird, that was a weird, because it was, it was only around for, like, like, three and a half years, four years, something like that. It was lightning in a bottle. I'm not even, it just, there was, it was such an interesting like meteoric rise of content and creators and people it was an interesting confluence of of factors and is that going to be is that going to be recreated that's an interesting thing to think about it's an interesting thing to think about maybe maybe and i'm yeah i'm probably going to mess around with it when it uh, when the new one comes out, am I am I expecting like the same degree, the same level of uh, of notoriety? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's no way, really, to tell these things and what your place is going to be within them. I experienced a tremendous amount of luck. As far as that was concerned, because you know, it's also, it's like, you know, I, I've done fairly well on other platforms, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. I've done decent, done okay, but nowhere near, nowhere near the numbers and the influence that, that, uh, the old Vineroo brought. Oh, there she is. It's going to break up into two videos now. There we go, and we're back. You know what? I just noticed it, it didn't. It didn't because before my old phone it used to actually tell me, it used to actually say like, "Oh, to conserve space or blah blah blah." We're breaking your video up and starting up a new video. So there you go. Just so you know, this one it just kind of pauses the numbers for a little bit, and then it just resumes them. That's it. That's it. So yeah, the last. <laughs> Some people were asking on the last webcast, like, did that just, like, stop all of a sudden? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. It wasn't supposed to. It really wasn't. I'm sorry for that. But yeah, I forgot. I forgot that once I get to 30... I don't know what it is. I get to 33 minutes and 10 seconds, it automatically cuts the video out. Cuts the video out, automatically chops it up, makes it into two separate videos. So when I was editing them together... I only included the original 3310. I didn't include like the final four minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that's on me. That's on me. That was a whoopsie doodle. Whoops a daisy. That's why uh, last week's or the last uh, webcast had to be uploaded in two, two separate parts. Hi, Noe. Hi, Noe. Hey, Vivi. Ulo. Ulo. Hi. How beautiful. How beautiful. How beautiful. Hi. 
So, so, yeah. No, but as far as uh, as far as getting back into vine, oh my gosh, it uh, that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I am gonna mess around with it. I'm not expecting. I'm I'm expecting it to have probably the same degree of. Uh, oh my gosh. Same degree of uh, success as possibly like you know my current like Instagram, YouTube type stuff has. As far as those kind of numbers are concerned. Um, that's it. I don't know. Low, 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 low. Nice sugar pie. Because it's going to be, I think, I and I don't know. I don't know wh how this is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm thinking that they're going to literally start from scratch. So that means that I don't, it was, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you're going to start with like the 1.2 million followers or 1.3 or whatever it is that you got. I don't think so. I think everyone's going to start at zero. Which is interesting. It's just interesting. It's very interesting. And it's like, oh, like how many of you guys are going to do it again? How many of you guys are not going to be able to recreate it? Ooh. Oh, Thunderdome. And then, of course, probably going to be a whole new host of creators. New. Oh, and it's not going to, they, they're going to do things where it's, they're not going to have like your, it's not going to have embedded in the app itself, like, like uh, Snapchat filters or anything like that. It's going to just be natural, natural light. No, if you want, I, I don't know if it's going to be, allow you to upload like edited clips. Either way, it's interesting and exciting. I can't wait to see what, uh, can't wait to see what Dom comes up with when it, uh, when it gets out there. Hopefully, hopefully, and this happens with apps all the time because I'm an Android guy, all right? I'm not, you know, like an Apple sheep. <laughs> but oftentimes, whenever they have apps, um, and this is stupid, they favor the iOS market. And Vine was no different. It was, it was uniquely created for iOS users. And that was so frustrating. I always felt so, because the, like, the Android version of the app didn't come out literally for six months. It didn't come out for six months after the iOS version. There were so many users that already had multiple millions of, like, oh my gosh. There was just way, six months, had to start. And the, uh, the video codecs and the video compression rates were way different way different ios users like the vine, the vine app was made specifically for ios users and the and the, sh the shots came through clearly even though my camera was literally better yeah you tell them cassie it was my camera was literally better than most of the ios cameras out there but the app, the way that it processed video footage, it would come through all weird and grainy and pixelated. And I can't tell you how many messages, how many emails, reviews, basically saying just like, can you please fix this garbage? Can you actually consider Android users? Oh my God. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of us. People who like to actually have control over their devices. Sorry, I'm one of them. But it's so sleek. I, it's a status symbol. It's a brand name. It works so well. Oh, whatever. Ever since, uh, ever since your Apple Jesus kicked the bucket trying to eat a bunch of fruit to cure his cancer. Your products have been crap. <laughs> uh, very curable form of cancer from what I understand too. Yeah. Tragedy. Anyway, this rant got way, <laughs> way off the rails. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're like that uh, train derailment over in uh, Washington a few weeks back. Man, we are that far off the rails. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Enough webcasting for today. We're gonna end it on Mika. She's gonna come on over here. 
Hashtag Dorbist Award down in the comment section below. Let us know how you feel. I'm going to be sending out uh, peat paintings from the uh, live stream here in a little bit. Um, so, yeah. Remember, I've only gotten messages from two people. So if I don't get, if I don't get the other two people to uh, say, you know, like, hey, like, I'm one of the winners, then guess what? Those things go back into circulation. We have another live stream. We do an awesome contest for you folks. So there you go. Oh my gosh, look at these two. They deserve each other. They absolutely deserve each other. <laughs> All right, folks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.